Hello, Birmingham High School BSU. Monet, your left foot. other things uh, with that. I wanted to uh, first be an anchor woman, uh, but also an actress. And then I wanted to be a producer, but also an actress. And I wanted to be an attorney and also an actress. And the one thing that, or the two things I think that uh, remain were acting and producing. Now you are one of the handful of black women that have won an Oscar. How does it feel to be a part of that club? Um, it's definitely uh, an honor and a privilege, and it's not uh, anything that I take for granted. Uh, it means you still have to work hard uh, and have a strong work ethic um, and be careful about the projects that you pick um, post your Oscar win, but uh, it's, it's definitely an honor, and I'm, I'm very humbled by it. So have you ever faced any adversity in the industry because of your race? I'm sure I have, uh, but not as uh, overt and blatant as one would think. There are things that happen in, in when people make their decisions about uh, uh, the look of their show, who they want on their show. Um, I, I'm pretty sure, you know, I've heard in back channels that, you know, uh, black people black women specifically uh don't open strong box office so you can't touch this you can't touch this you can't touch this um i can't say that it's been blatant but you know when there are lack of jobs you know you you, you know it's something so in your opinion what is the key to staying focused on your goals well, I think, uh, first of all, you have to have goals. A lot of people think that um, things are just going to happen, you know, through osmosis. I dream it and therefore it'll happen. But dr dreaming is only the first step. Having that goal is only the first step. Then you have to take action, an action every day, a small action uh, towards achieving those goals. And, and that keeps you focused if you have just take one action toward achieving that goal a day. So did you plan on being as successful and well-known as you are today? <laughs> I don't think one can plan on it. One definitely works to, and hopes to get there, but you know, uh, we're working with two of my best friends, Melissa McCarthy and Ben Falcone. I've known them for 20 years, and uh, the majority of the people I know uh, we were all 20-year overnight successes. So um, hard, I, I think hard work and, uh, and learning whatever it is you want to do training for that moment uh, will prepare you for you know success and however that success is measured what is something you wish you could tell your younger self i wish i could tell my younger self that she is on the right path um, every awkward moment you feel uh, is right because it contributes to who you are in the future Okay. Do you have any advice for aspiring actors, actresses, or dreamers in general? Dream first, work towards that dream secondly, and don't ever let anyone tell you that you're too old, too fat, too young, too black, too white, too brown to achieve those goals. You are worthy of success. Yeah. Yeah.